We submit that the killings by the soldiers was uncalled for. It is barbaric and unprofessional. We demand that the ministers of defense and interior investigate this incident and bring the unprofessional perpetrators to book. The good name, in fact, the very good name of the military is being soiled by this unprofessional conduct. We also demand that after the investigation, these uh, victims' families should be adequately compensated. This conduct also defeats the purpose of peacekeeping. They rather seem to be aggressors rather than peacemakers or peacekeepers. The soldiers cannot deny responsibility as they have not seized any arms or weapons from the victims. I understand that they admit that yes, they did the firing and the killing of these innocent people, but that uh, they, were, they, were, they were exchanging fire. If that is so, that they, they were engaged, each, they, were, they had engaged each other, then there might be evidence coming from the soldiers that, oh, we seized weapons from them, guns or, or bows and arrows or, or other missiles from them. But nothing. They just shot and killed them. What are they fighting for? They say chieftaincy. But there's no chieftaincy dispute in Boku, as of now. The Boku chieftaincy dispute has been resolved. There's no chieftaincy dispute. So we don't know what they are fighting for. It is the duty of government of the day to have the political will and commitment to make sure that the rule of law and due process in this matter is upheld, respected, and works. No man should be above the law. Even though we sympathize with the security personnel on the ground for their sacrifices, we condemn their excesses, inhuman acts, and unprofessionalism that they exhibit sometimes. As we all know, Ghana security, whether police, uh, military, etc., have excelled in international peacekeeping, more so against the background that there are jihadists and extremists, etc., in our neighboring countries, particularly Burkina Faso so and Togo, and the Boko traditional council or traditional area shares a border with these two countries. So that if this conflict is not resolved very early, then the likelihood that these jihadists and uh, extremists might find their way in Boko is very, very high, either at the instance of one group or another, or on their own because the grounds are very, uh, very, very vulnerable for them to enter.